And another thing that I found uh, rather interesting about these credits is that if you paid any attention when the dolphin was talking, he mentioned uh, Mr. Yamauchi but didn't give him any nicknames. I think it's better that way, uh, just in case he drew Lago the toilet or, or another character with an equally ridiculous name. You do not want to piss off Mr. Yamauchi! And look, at long last, Banjo and Kazooie get to shine in the credits to their own game. Not real, not really that much of a surprise. <laughs> look over there, we missed a carrot. <laughs> I don't know why, but I always found it rather funny. Especially since enemies respawn when you change worlds anyway. Uh, there's going to be a little cutscene. After that cutscene, I'm just going to save everything I've recorded so far. And um, yeah, after that, I'll move on to the final battle. And... <laughs> That's another thing that cracks me up. It's like, you know, mum mumbo jumbo flippin' burgers. You might want to be careful about those uh, internal organs. You might want to protect them a little bit better than that. Though I guess the fact that he's been able to live with no skin suggests that uh, he might not care all that much. And everyone's arguing about uh, who did the better job. Uh, I'd like to think Kazooie did the best job of all. Better than Banjo, at least, since he barely got any moves to use by himself. Kazooie did all the hard work. Anyway, Tooty, you did not just go there! Yep, we're going to have to finish the job. If you thought we were going to have a little vacation, you thought wrong! And we are back at Grunty's Furnace Fun. Just so you know, uh, you didn't have to climb the, the, the lair all the way again. The game starts you out right there. Anyway, making it to the final tower, Gruntilda. And uh, yeah, this shortcut, pretty useless too. It's not like you gotta answer the, the questions uh, all over again if you want to get back here. You just have to get through the board, which is... Uh, very easy to do, so I don't know why they made that shortcut. Oh well. If you head over there, you're going to find the Beauty Sucker 10,000, which is now completely unoccupied since Tootie's gone. Excuse me! I just wanted to kill you. Anyway, moving on. If you want to make your way to Gruntilda, you better have a crap ton of jiggies. As you can see, not a single piece on there, and you need 20 Five Jiggies in order to meet Gruntilda again. Wow, that's a lot of Jiggies. If you thought you could get away uh, with getting only 70% of the Jiggies in the game and beat the game anyway, you thought wrong! Anyway, moving on. We meet Dingpot. Yeah, remember Dingpot, that uh, weird, perverted uh, cauldron that... Uh, has a soft spot for old, overweight hags and small bear children. Yeah, this is the same one from the beginning of the game. Uh, anyway, <laughs> not nice cover up there, Banjo. Because uh, with the way Kazooie talked to him, it's uh, almost a wonder that he wants to help uh, to help us at all. But um, as he's pointing out, Gruntilda is not the kindest towards her minions, especially not Dingpot, <laughs> as he said. Yeah, yeah. I imagine being a cauldron or anything really, and uh, y and you're alive, you know, and you get puked into. That is just terrible. At least keep it for, you know, a dead trash can or something, or anything but a freaking live cauldron. Then again, I guess that's payback for uh, all his, uh, you know, weird, perverted tendencies. Anyway, you're supposed to uh, jump into Dingpot to be taken to the final battle, but first, there are still a few things to do in this room. If you have 864 nodes, you can open this door and come back here anytime and you're going to get a free refill of uh, Golden Feathers if you have 828 nodes. Same thing, except it's with blue eggs. There are two more doors in this area. 882 nodes will allow you to get into this room and if you have four Jiggies, yeah, we're using up even more Jiggies. You're going to get the double health upgrade, very similar to the double defense upgrade from uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. And finally, if you have 846 nodes, you can head over here 
and get a free red feather refill anytime. So yeah, there's no reward for getting every single note in the game, but there is one for getting every uh, Jiggy in the game, uh, which we're gonna get to later, because to get everything so far you needed only 98 of the 100 Jiggies. Anyway, it's time! The final battle against Gruntilda at long last! And uh, I'm warning you right now, this fight is long! It's a marathon of a fight! Gruntilda has uh, five, uh, well I wouldn't say forms, but five phases total. First phase, she heads over there, then she's gonna start charging at you uh, by, fl by flying uh, with her uh, broomstick. You just have to uh, use Kazooie's talent rod to dodge, and once uh, the broomstick starts to malfunction, attack her with the rat attack wrap, dodge the fireball, then a switch back to Kazooie, and repeat some more. Yeah, this isn't the most uh, thrilling uh, part of the fight. It's also by far the easiest, which I guess is why she starts out with that pattern instead of starting out with the hard ones, then go, then uh, continuing with the easier ones uh, later on. But uh, you might notice that she starts going a lot faster, and she's also going to charge at you more often before her uh, broomstick uh, starts malfunctioning. Ooh, okay, that one was close. Didn't really have time to switch to Kazooie. Zoom! 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 Oh, come on! Stop it! That's just so easy! Is that gonna be it? Yes! Second phase now. Um, she's gonna go to, uh... Oh, no! By, uh, she's gonna send uh, one of those uh, homing projectiles at me. The only way you can protect against these is with a golden feather. One thing that's really cool about this fight is that you get to use uh, most of your moves in a single fight. Oh, no, no, no! She threw a fourth one! Anyway, she's gonna stop for a little while after throwing four fireballs, and oh, wow! Combo wombo! Great! So what you want to do, you want to do what I just did. When she stops throwing fireballs, get up there, throw a bunch of eggs, and uh, you're gonna need three before she goes to a different side. And uh, as, uh, nor as uh, is normally the case, she's gonna start uh, firing them faster, and the downtime is going to be uh, lower as well. I only connected twice this time, I believe. So, let's just wait. Four. Let's get up there. Fire an egg. Here we go. So, she's gonna head over there, and it's going to become uh, even more hectic. She's gonna start throwing them a lot faster. One, two, three, four. And, uh, ow! Well, uh, I was sort of careless. I didn't really remember that the explosion lasted so long. But uh, that leaves me with even less time to react. Come on, throw some eggs. Get back, get back! Okay! Awesome! <laughs> We're actually doing really good! But now, it's, a, it's gonna be the toughest part of this particular phase. Look at how fast she goes! And the downtime! This is gonna be- What?! She only threw three? Uh, what's going on? Okay, this time she's throwing four. I don't learn, do I? Ah, uh, let's try this again. Oh my god, I have no time! No time at all! And only two eggs connected, so that means... Great! I'm gonna have to find a way to get an egg in, but uh, even with... Uh, but even if it's just one egg, it's gonna be hard because I have barely any downtime! Look at that! Come on! Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> I fired the egg... Or rather, I went back a little too early, uh, and the egg wasn't done firing. Okay, here we go! Phase number three now! Boom! Okay. So, phase number three, as I said, uh, a flight pad is going to appear, so you're gonna have to take to the skies and hit her with a few beak bombs. Let's just take this three energy while it's there. So yeah, we're going to be beak bombing Gruntilda! And uh, while those snowmen in a uh, Click Clock Wood went rather well, um, uh, those in Freeze Easy Peak were a lot tougher. And if you remember, those were non-moving targets, or at least they moved very little. Gruntilda, though, likes moving around. And, uh, okay, come on. It's just, uh, oh! I was right there! I was 
just right there, just barely missed! Wow, that sucked. At least there's no invisible wall for me to smack into for uh, quite a while, and I'm way too high. If I decided to beat bomb and I missed, I would have slammed into the floor and probably slipped off the tower, and I would have had to try again. Not again! Come on! Just... Yeah, this part is... It's not the hardest, but uh, it's still rather frustrating if you suck it with the big bomb as much as I am. Okay, she's gonna start firing a few more fireballs. And... Okay, come on. And can I... Yes! Okay, uh... No, that's not it. Probably need one more. Uh, ow! Uh, okay, let's try... Okay! Is it... No? It's still not over? Come on! Give me... Oh, yeah, it is over now. I, I just needed to let her fire off her fireballs. So now uh, she's protected in a uh, shield that makes her invincible, so... Uh, why she didn't do it in the first place, I have absolutely no idea, but now we're in trouble! Except that uh, we got a few Jinjos coming to our aid. We just have to free them from these statues and they're going to be able to pierce Gruntilda's shield. Now, in order to, um... I'm just going to, uh... Okay, she's still firing off some fireballs. And that gives me a break to... What?! None of them made it in?! Come on! Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me! Hurry up! Okay! Here we go. Now we get a cutscene for this one, which is actually a drawback because uh, you want to use the downtime provided by each Jinjo to rescue the next one. But the fact that uh, you have a cutscene to deal with prevents you from doing that the first time around. Still... Oh! Come the fuck on! I'm... <sighs> okay, fine. If you want to play that game, I'm going to sacrifice energy and gold feathers just to get... Okay, now, uh, she's still throwing her fireballs, but the Jinjo's gonna attack her, so I gotta take advantage of the downtime to get over there, fire off a few eggs into that hole, and here we go. That's how you're supposed to do it, minus the whole getting hit part, of course. Almost down to, uh, regular health. My health boost is almost gone, and there, it's completely gone. Here we go! Last Jinjo is now operational. And there goes the broomstick. So now uh, her shots become a lot trickier to dodge in this fifth and final form because she's actually going to try and predict where uh, you go. So you got it takes it really takes some happy feet to dodge them all. Now let's uh, avoid this one. Yeah, she's gonna also start using those projectiles more liberally. So. Try not to run out of gold feathers, even though you can just head back to the edge of the tower if you're missing uh, gold feathers. So, uh, now, this uh, is the Jinjonator! There are four holes, one on each side, and by the way, Gruntilda's shots go straight through the statue, so don't count on the statue to protect uh, you. Anyway, this hole is now filled with six eggs, so we're gonna have to try and move on to another of those holes while she's still pelting fireballs like crazy. Okay, take advantage of this to aim and get as many eggs as possible in there, then get the fuck away. Okay, we still got two more holes to fill. We're almost done. And I got hit with a fireball again there. As I said, this, this fight is actually rather difficult. So I guess I'll be dodging all those fireballs again, and oh my god, am I gonna lose so close to the end? I only have four units of health left. Okay, let's pound that with eggs. Here we go. The third hole is now blocked, so now... Um, this one is the hardest one, because if you want to have a good look at the hole, you you can't look at where Grunty is uh, flinging her fireball, so you just have to use your instincts and do some more happy feet dodging. And, okay. Invincibility. Fire six eggs. And SCORE! The mighty Jinjonator is now activated, so it's gonna do the rest of the job for us. 